Salvador Puig Antic Catalan pronunciation, Put Tic, 1948 was a Catalan militant anarchist whose unpopular execution under Francoist Spain made him a cause célèbre for Catalan autonomists, pro-independence supporters, and anarchists. After fighting the Spanish state with the Iberian Liberation Movement in the early 1970s, he was convicted and executed for the death of a policeman during a shootout. Catalonians viewed Puig Antic's judicial death as symbolic retribution for the region's fight for self-government, and his name became commonplace in Barcelona. The incident inspired works by Catalan artists Joan Miro and Antony Tapies, and a satirical play by the Catalan theatre group Els Jogglers. The 2006 film Salvador depicts Puig Antic's time on death row. After the Spanish Supreme Court declined an effort to review the execution, an Argentine court adopted the case under universal jurisdiction in 2013. Topic: <inaudible> Iberian Liberation Movement. Salvador Puig Antic was born May 30, 1948, in Barcelona, Spain. He was a member of the Workers' Commissions before he joined the Iberian Liberation Movement Movimiento Ibérico de Liberation, or MIL. The group organized armed robberies against banks, which they called expropriations, allegedly to fund their actions against Francoist Spain in 1972 and 1973. After a series of these robberies, he was arrested for the death of a policeman during a shootout. The War Council sentenced him to death by Garotville in the model prison. His execution proceeded despite international outcry, as Spain's second state execution in eight years. University students in Barcelona and Madrid went on strike in protest of the execution, whereupon they fought with police. <laughs> Legacy Catalonians interpreted Puig Antic's execution as symbolic retaliation for the region's fight for autonomy, which led to public demonstrations. As one of Franco's last victims, Puig Antic became a household name in Barcelona. The group's Diaction Revolucionaire Internationalistes Gari formed to avenge his death. Several years after his 1974 execution, the Catalan performance group Els Jogglers performed La Torna, a 1977 satire against torture based on Puig Antic's execution. Even though Francoist Spain had ended, along with its censorship laws, members of Els Jogglers were jailed or forced into exile. Spanish theater groups protested across Spain. Catalan painters Joan Miro and Antony Tapies both alluded to Puig Antic's execution in their mid-1970s work. Miro's The Hope of a Condemned Man triptych features a line that sighs and falls with faltering resignation and flicked paint. Tapies's Assassin's Lithograph series, presented at the Parisian Gallery Mate, too was inspired by Puig Antic's execution and Spanish politics. The 2006 film Salvador depicts Puig Antic's time spent on death row. An effort by family members and outside groups to review Puig Antic's case was rejected by the Spanish Supreme Court in 2007, but an Argentine judge adopted the case with those of other Francoist victims under universal jurisdiction in 2013. Puig Antic is interred in the Monjuic Cemetery in Barcelona. Topic: References. Topic. Further reading Topic. External links Articles about Salvador Puig Antic from the Kate Sharpley Library Papers at the Pavelo de la Republica CRAI Library